Hello friends! Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another episode of our Decades Challenge Let's Play. The year is 1932, so let's go ahead, open up the game, and get started. Oh my goodness, everybody is awake. <laughs> um, what can I have you all do? Alright, well, breakfast is being made, needs are being taken care of, we are off to a good start here. Too many Sims are trying to take care of Betty at the same time, and so none of them are changing her diaper because everybody's trying to do it. I don't care who does it. I just need somebody to do it. How's the breakfast going? All right, we finally got some breakfast here. Let's put it where I can easily reach it. And I'm pretty sure everybody's hungry, so everybody come eat. The toddlers for sure. Okay, put Betty down there while you go eat some breakfast. Oh, Betty's super hungry. Okay, well, when Eleanor is finished eating, she will feed Betty. Oh, Betty needs a bath. Please do that. Uh-oh, today's mail has been delivered. Bills. We can't pay those yet. Not until you shut off our power. Give Betty a... Give her a bubble bath. Why not? Did you not eat? You should be doing that. Okay. Oh, whoops. Want to move the toilet? Um, I guess we'll work on toddler skills. You can play with dolls, and Mildred has every skill she needs. She's at level five on all of them because we spend so long as toddlers. <laughs> so she's rocking it. So I suppose we could have maybe William. What? How did William end up with Betty? Holy moly, no. Well, if you're gonna give her a bath, that's fine, but like somebody make up their mind about this. Give Betty a bubble bath. Oh my God, he's gonna put her down. <sighs> I love infants, I really do, but sometimes people tending to the infants drive me nuts. <clears throat> so, William, can you Teach to say please and thank you or teach to say sorry? Let's do sorry, because I don't really remember what that gets up, but because she's aggressive, <laughs> check this out. Because she's aggressive, her emotional control is super terrible. So we'll have to work on that as she gets a bit older. Please go give her a bath. Oh, actually, um, John, that's an excellent idea. Come tend garden. And to all of our plants. That gives you something to do. You, I don't really know what you're doing. This trash down here is actually a terrible idea because they can't empty it. And I thought this was like an outdoor one, but they can't empty it. I'm going to get rid of it. They drive me nuts with this trash can all the time. That's that. Your aspiration, you want to publish four more books. Do we have any that you can publish right now? We've got two more. So we've got to write two more books. So how about we write a book today? Write. Oh, she's in the middle of writing something. So that's good. So what, wait, what is this actually doing? Empathy, maybe? No, conflict resolution. Okay. That's good. Maybe let's also, well, how are, you really need to have fun. So play with her a little bit and then you can go to the bathroom oh my gosh you smashed the dollhouse why would you do that ay 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 okay put Betty down and then can we like discipline recent behavior tell not to smash the dollhouse is she not clean yet this is the longest bath ever um I don't know William, actually, before you go to the bathroom, can you repair this dollhouse? Then you can use the bathroom. You desperately need to have some fun. Why did you come all the way out here? Oh my goodness, these sims don't make any sense. Oh my god, now she went back inside to put Betty down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so now she put Betty down. That's great. Now she's going to go back and discipline her toddler. Well, while she's on the floor, can we do tummy time? Can we not do tummy time with her? Why not? No. 
You're not in your crib. Nobody's putting you in your crib. Nope. No. You're not. You are actually gonna tend to the flowers because I don't want her to go in the crib right now. <laughs> I want her to be doing tummy time. Tummy time together. Please. Okay, when you're done with tummy time, you can give her a nap um, because the toddlers should probably also nap. Um, did you finish writing a book? You just decided to stop? I didn't tell you to stop. Oh, she unlocked the coup milestone. No! Don't touch her! Oh, she's watching her do the milestone. Okay, that's fine. I take it back. Sorry for yelling at you. No! Stop! Why is everybody wanting to touch the baby? Leave her alone. William's got it. Oh, roll over to tummy milestone unlocked. That means she can do tummy time on her own. Oh, something just broke. Repair that, please. Okay, that was not a long nap. Alright, she'll just nap on the floor, I guess. I don't know why William gave up on her nap. I'm really sick of these toddlers destroying the dollhouse. Every time I turn around, the dollhouse is destroyed again. Betty unlocked the creep milestone. Now they can practice crawling. Alright, but you could go to sleep now. Because <laughs> you are exhausted. Should probably get the toddlers off to bed as well. It's getting kind of late. I guess everybody could go to bed. Yeah, I'm going to send everybody off to bed and I will catch you all in the morning. Oh my goodness. Um, yesterday, sim day, I actually forgot that we're only supposed to have one hot meal a day and they accidentally had two. So yogurt parfaits for breakfast, people. Maybe we won't have any hot meals today to make up for it. Yikes. All right, yogurt parfaits, everybody. Come get your breakfast. Oh, eating for two. Congratulations, Eleanor is expecting there's going to be a new addition to the household. Wow, hooray. You have 24 hours to pay your bills before your power is shut off. Well, that's what we're waiting for. Actually, we're waiting for the water to get shut off. But anyway, I'm so excited that Eleanor is pregnant again. <laughs> we'll see if we get a boy. I don't know that I'm willing to go more than four kids to try to get a boy this time. Last time we had so many kids. Oh, let's see. We'll see if this fourth one is a boy. And if not, I don't know. I've gotten mixed feedback of like, do we keep going until we get the boy? Or do we let Mildred be the heir? Uh, I guess we'll have to see what this baby is and make our decision then. Oh, what did you learn how to do? Oh, you learned how to sit up. Set up milestone unlocked. Awesome. You want to practice standing? Practice standing with your grandpa. Oh my gosh. Why are you guys so angry? Why is fruit, um, I mean yogurt, I, I really have an issue the way food works in The Sims. <sighs> but yogurt is considered like a sweet and now they're angry and I, I don't. I have very strong feelings about this. Uh, I don't think anything should have that effect, but. I did not make The Sims. Uh oh, she's, oh, she's sick. She's feeling a little dizzy. More, should we go to GeekCon? No, it's gonna have stuff that's way too modern for this game. Um, quit writing your book and go relax. I mean, go nap. Maybe sleep off this illness. Oh, you need a bath. Bubbles from your dad. Ask your dad to give you a bath. Oh, nap time. Do any of you guys play this way too? I keep it so um, scheduled, or at least I try to have them on a good schedule where the toddlers are napping sometime around one. I'll have a bedtime. Curious to know how you guys do your gameplay. Oh, her nap worked. She's feeling so much better. Oh, 
or she's not. It says she's combating a cold, but she looks very dizzy. Aw, this is cute. William and John playing chess together. No, you don't get to smash the dollhouse and then cry because it's been smashed. You did that. <laughs> well, I guess the toddlers can go to bed. And Mary can get Betty all ready for bed. Get everybody ready for bed, I suppose. Oh, wow, John's exhausted. Yeah, I guess everybody should go to bed. Oh, Marie reached level three communication skill. Nice job. You're actually not that tired. Uh, maybe you could just write a little bit more before we send you to bed? All right, wrapping up everybody's needs, some last minute activities, and then sending them off to bed. So I will catch you all in the morning. Happy lottery day. We won't be playing. <laughs> Um, sorry, you guys are all gonna have horrible holidays, but we're not playing. So, what are we doing? Taking care of everybody's needs. That's what we're doing. Oh, there goes our power. The Land Grab Power Company has shut off the power to your house. Pay your bills to get it turned back on. Well, we will not be turning, we will not be paying the bills until our water gets shut off. So we've got a while. We've got to publish three more books. We've got three more to publish, which is good for us. Oh, she's a one-star celebrity from all these books. The problem is we get a lot of money from them, too. Let's self-publish, I guess, this last one. We won't get as much money. Oh, my goodness! Can you put some clothes on? Literary genius. Complete three bestsellers. Well, we already did that. Guess we gotta write three more, but first I really need to get our housekeeper some clothes. That is much better. Oh, we can't write any books because our power's off. <sighs> We're gonna have to wait. Oh no, wait, can we? No, we can't. Okay. That's a shame, but not the end of the world. Maybe we could spend some time with Betty. Join tummy time. Oh, hooray, we wrote another song. That is very exciting. Toe and mouth milestone unlocked. Oh, should William become a genius? Yeah, why not? William is now a genius. Oh no, Eleanor's throwing up. Guess she's not feeling too great from this pregnancy. Okay, let everyone stay up till like almost 11. <laughs> don't make a mess in the hopes that they, s no, don't take a nap, go to bed. That they can sleep in a bit later tomorrow morning. But with that, sending everybody to bed and I will catch you all in the morning. So it is Mildred's birthday and it is also Betty's birthday, but we have no power, which means that we cannot bake a cake for them. And also, I had Mary grill some food, but I have no idea where she put it. I maybe should have paid more attention when she finished cooking. So I might just have to have her do it again and pay closer attention. So we're gonna grill some campers stew and I'm going to try to keep an eye on her. Um, but I do not know what we're going to do about this whole cake situation. All right, come feed Betty. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> I stopped paying attention again. Okay, here we go. Where are you putting this food? Oh, no. Wait, that's your serving. Where's the whole thing of it? Okay, on the floor. Maybe she just didn't cook it last time, and I... I mean, I really wasn't paying attention to her, so that's very possible that she never ended up making it. All right, anyone who's hungry can come eat. Which is everybody, pretty much. Also, happy Independence Day. 24 hours to pay your bills before your water is shut off. So our water will not be shut off in time for us to pay our bills to get our power restored to bake some cakes. So 
I think they're just gonna have to have not great birthdays. What are we doing? What are you doing with Betty? Okay, enough, leave her alone. Betty is fine, she doesn't need you. Oh my gosh, we made so much money from royalties and interest. We make too much money. Um, okay, Eleanor, stop, stop. <laughs> Don't worry about your child. Go eat. Use the restroom. You have so much family here that can help with your child. John is going to practice crawling with Betty. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Aren't you supposed to be doing stuff? The problem is everybody wants to help with the infant. And it overrides everything. I told John to hang out with the infant. Nobody else. Everybody else has their own stuff to deal with. Okay, here's how I have decided to handle that situation with a mod. <laughs> so Ravishing has this cake a break pastry box where now we should be able to, let's get on Eleanor maybe, piece of cake bakery and we'll buy a cake. Let's do this plain cake. So now we've got a cake. And if I put this right here, in theory, we should add birthday candles. So now we've got birthday candles. Um, William is going to help Mildred blow out some candles. Okay, making our way over. Oh, we gave up. Okay. Let's try that again. Help blow out candles, Mildred. Take two. Any moment now, he will walk her over to the cake. Okay, here we go. <gasps> All right. Happy birthday to Millie. Happy birthday to Millie. She's mad. Oh, because her attention is low? Except it's not. It's all the way up. Oh, no. She's hurt by somebody. All right. Well, let's age up, Millie. Dun, 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 dun. Mildred aged up. I am terrified to randomize her treat. Erratic? <laughs> Do I have to? No, I, de I technically don't have to. Because I really don't want to. Well, let's just randomize it again. What happens if I randomize again? Goofball. I like that better. Can we pretend that that's what we did the first time? She's a goofball. Um, okay. Sorry, I cheated. Just, But I cheated just a little bit. Like, not a lot. I only cheated a little bit. And let's go into Cass and give her a makeover. Okay, here's Millie in her everyday dress. Her formal, her athletic, her pajamas, her party, her swimwear, her hot weather, and her cold weather. I think she looks super cute. Yay. All right, Millie. You want to achieve level three mental skill? We could do that, but first, let's get you to do your homework. Oh, and Eleanor can mentor her in music. That will be great. Oh, that means she can move into this bedroom now, too. Now that she's a child. You want to come mentor her in homework? Or help with homework, I guess. It's not called mentoring. Oh, she's already done. I think I sped it up somehow through MC Command Center for something. Okay. Well, then I guess instead, do you want to come play chess with William? All right. She achieved a level three mental skill. Nice job. Okay, so if she comes to practice, is that how we get Eleanor to mentor her? Let's see. She's playing the piano. 
Mentor. Please go do that. Oh, we've got to do it for three hours. <laughs> Frayed nerves from badly played music. Great. You guys got three hours of bonding to do. Okay. You know what? We might as well age up Betty now, too. So could you help blow out candles, Betty? Oh, I don't want you to do it while she's that stinky. First, change her diaper. Yeah, change her diaper first. And then uh, maybe give her a, sh a bath. And then let her blow out her candles. No, John! Get out of here. Get out. Go do something else. I'm going to get her a journal also. Since her emotional control is... Um, horrible. <laughs> I don't want her, I want her to have like, at least not whatever the negative trait for emotional control is. Okay. Get her to blow out her candles. Come on. It's time. Betty's birthday. Happy birthday to Betty. Happy birthday to Betty. Yay! You gonna age up? Here we go. Betty aged up. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my goodness, she is angelic. That is absolutely fantastic. <laughs> we could use one of those around here, an angelic sim. Okay, grab a serving. Oh. Look, they cleaned up her outfits automatically. Okay, but she needs to eat something. Eat and then go to bed, basically. Oh, Ellen, are you that tired? Yeah, you kind of are. Um, you want to eat a slice of cake and then I'll let you go to bed? Um, I do want to get Betty into Cass and change up her outfits. Um... They did a nice job cleaning up the outfits for me, but it would be nice to customize hers a little bit. Um, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, she's got a... Oh, let me change her shoes on this. I think they'll look better in white. Or brown? I guess white is good. So we've got a nice little everyday outfit. Her formal, her pajamas, her party, her swimwear her hot weather and her cold weather. Little Betty is ready to take on the world as a toddler. Well, on that note, it feels like we've had a pretty eventful episode here at the end with the birthdays and such. Um, I am going to go ahead, take care of their needs, get them put to bed and wrap up the end of 1932. So um, next episode, Eleanor is going to be having her baby. Probably her fourth and final baby. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if it's a boy. Um, if it's not, we'll take it from there. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Will it be a boy? Will it be a girl? What will we do either way? Um, and if you have any other comments, suggestions, feedback, anything, please leave them in the comments. Always very appreciated. And with that, I am going to wrap up this episode right here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, the like button, the notification bell, all that good stuff helps my channel and makes my heart happy. It means so much to me to have you along on this decades challenge journey. I will catch you all next time. Bye.